Hello guys, welcome to COTEC College of Technology. I am Maxwell Tapra, <coughs> and in this, this is lesson one of our ASP.NET programming with SQL Server database. Now, in this lecture or in this lesson, we are going to learn what is ASP, what other technologies can be used to build web applications. What is a web application? What are the advantages of web applications and how web applications works? Okay, so now when we talk of ASP as a programming language, what is ASP? Now, ASP is a web application framework developed by Microsoft to build dynamic data driven web applications and web services. So it's a subset of the .NET framework. Okay, it's a framework that was developed by Microsoft to build dynamic data-driven web applications. Now, in simple terms, a framework is a collection of classes. Now, an ASP .NET is the successor to the classic ASP. The full name of ASP is Active Server Pages. So, Active Server Pages .NET was the successor, or is the successor to the classic. Active server pages. Now, some other technologies that we can use to build web applications aside the ASP is PHP. PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. We have the Java. Java 2 is a programming language that we can use in doing activities that ASP.NET um, can do. We have the common gateway interface, the CGI. The Ruby on Rails, you have the Perl, these are all languages that we use or can be used to build web applications aside ASP. Now, when you talk of a web application, you keep on hearing me web applications. When you talk of a web application, what is a web application? A web application is an application that is accessed by users using a web browser. Any application that runs on an internet browser is a web application. Examples of web browsers include the Microsoft Internet Explorer, we have the Microsoft, uh, the Google Chrome, the Mozilla Firefox, the Apple Safari, Netscape Navigator, uh, the Opera Mini, and then a whole lot of them. We have the Edge, they are all examples of web browsers. Okay, now what are the advantages of a web application? Now, web applications just need to be installed only on a web server, whereas a desktop application needs to be installed on every computer where you want to access them. So, with web application, you don't have to always be at the office before you can access the application, unlike desktop, where it has been installed on a particular machine. With the web, you can even access it on your phone. All you need it's an internet connection and also an internet browser. Maintenance, support, and patches are easier to provide. Only a browser is required on a client's machine to access a web application, making it simple. So wherever you go, only the only thing you need is a web, uh, a web browser. Accessible from everywhere, like I was saying, provided there is internet. And it's also cross-platform, whether Android, Windows, um, iOS, okay, Linux, you can still access your web application. Example of them have the Facebook, it's a web application, the Instagram, and then the rest, they're all web apps, okay. You don't have to be stationary or they're not static, they're not dynamic. Wherever you go, you can access these applications, okay. So, how these web applications work now? The web application work on client server architecture. There is always a communication between the client and then the server. The client sends requests and then the server sends the response. On the client, all you need is a browser that can understand an HTML. Okay, the only language the browser understands is HTML, which is the hypertext markup language. Now on the server side, the web application runs on Microsoft Internet Services, Information Services, the IIS. Okay. Now, when the client enters the URL of a web application in a browser, 
let's say Facebook and submit the, re the request the web server which hosts the web application receives the request okay so like I was saying there is a connection between the client and the server the client which uses the web app or, or, or which um, uh, of which the web app is being accessed in the browser sends a request okay and then this request gets to the um, server and then the server sends the response through protocols okay now talk of a protocol a protocol is a set of rules that governs how two or more items or two or more devices are being communicated or how they communicate so this bring brings us to the next uh, the end of our lecture for lesson one um stay tuned for lesson two thank you